Stu Bazzini, what are you doing on our side of town? I was waiting for you to come out because I didn't want to have this conversation in your office. You're going to want to take a look at this. What is it? Remember that trade you had me make to tank the oil shoe stock price? I get it. Someone figured it out, and now they want to use it against you. Not just someone. He's a trader at my firm. He knows what he's doing, and now he wants my job. Or what? Or he goes to the SEC. And once they start an investigation... I know. Harvey, what are we going to do? Two things. First, you're going to hire a consultant to review your firm's risk tolerance policy. And second? You're going to tell me everything there is to know about this trader. How old he is, how tall he is, what he eats for breakfast in the morning. What do you need to know all that for? Because he's got you. Which means I'm going to have to bluff him. And the best way to bluff someone is to know more about him than he knows about himself. Now, who's this consultant you want me to hire? Let's just say I got the perfect guy. Mr. Stockman. Yes, it's me. Nick Pavanati. I was told to see you. I understand you're doing some consulting for the firm. That's right. And I started looking at your trade history. Gen Biotech, you lost $2 million. Shale Futures, $10 million down the drain. Ridley Pharma, same thing. We make bets every day, and sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Well, you're about to make your worst bet yet. What are you talking about? You're going to have to rethink your choice to go after Stubazzini. Yeah, no f consultant. You're right. And you pursue this, Stu's not going to be the one in trouble. You are. What I got on Stu is real. That's why you're here. Doesn't matter what you have. Half the guys on Wall Street make dirty trades, and they see you throwing one of their own under the bus, they're never going to want to work with you. Something else about Wall Street guys. They're more loyal to money than anything else. So, unless you're here to tell me I'm moving into Stu's office, I'd say we're done. Nick. My name is Harvey Specter. Ask around. You'll find people who go up against me, they never win. So I think long and hard about what you're going to do. Harvey Specter. Kevin Miller. From a prison cell to a corner office in record time. Well, not just a corner office. Biggest office in the firm. I take it things have been good? Better than good. The uh, Sutter Cloud is gone, things are great with Jill, and the firm is growing like crazy. Glad to hear it, because I need you to make room for one more. You're sending someone my way. He must be a star. Actually, Kevin, he's a snake, but you're going to take him on anyway. And why would I do that? Because someone I care about is being blackmailed by this bastard. Ah, uh, I get it. You're asking me to make him an offer good enough to get him off your back. That's right. Except I'm not asking. Harvey, come on. <laughs> I mean, I just got my life back. I can't bring someone into my shop that's going to send me back to prison. I know I owe you, but not like this. Yes, like this, because I did a hell of a lot worse for you. And if I hadn't, you'd still be rotting in prison. So when I call in a favor, you don't put conditions on it. All right. Just tell me his name. I'll write up an offer and make it look like a headhunter found him. His name is Nick Pavanati, and you can skip the headhunter part. You'll know it's from me. You make him an offer, and you tell him it's not worth it to mess with Harvey Specter. Pretty nice office for a fake consultant. What are you doing here? I'm here to tell you that you're negotiating from a position of weakness. Because first you try to stop me, and then Kevin Miller offers me a job out of nowhere, telling me it's not worth it to go against you. It isn't. Yeah, you keep saying that, but I did some digging. And on the very same day the Doyle Shoes trades were made, a woman, who is now your COO, signed into our visitor's log to meet with Stu. Donna Paulson, I think is her name, right? Be very careful what you say next and who you threaten. Looks like I touched a nerve. Nick, you have no idea who you're dealing with. What I know is that stock manipulation is a crime. So is blackmail. And we can avoid prosecution for either of those if you stop coming at me and start working on Stu Bazzini's retirement party. But you better do it soon, because I'm not going to wait much longer. If you're trying to play a game of chicken with me, you'll never win. But I'm not just playing with you. I'm playing with you, Stu Bazzini and Donna Paulson. Really is a nice office. Donna, good. Let's grab a coffee. Sure. I could use some caffeine. And since we both know let's grab coffee is code for shit's gone sideways, why don't you just tell me what's going on? Nick Pavanati put the pieces together. He knows we were involved in that trade. So the firm's in his crosshairs now, too. Not just the firm. He also knows that you came to see Stu that day. I'm sorry, Donna, 
I never should have Harvey, don't even bother going down that road. I made my decision. Now, we have to decide how to fix this. We may not be able to fix it. Don't tell me. Someone got burned by that trade. Not just burned, scorched. A police pension fund sold at the wrong time and took a huge hit. This thing comes out, you're not gonna be able to say no harm, no foul. Son of a bitch. Harvey, if you're out of time, I don't see any other way. Any other way than what? Give it into whatever this guy wants. No, Harvey, we can't ask Stu to step down. Stu knew the risk when he agreed to make that trade. And you can tell yourself that to feel better, but I'm the one who convinced him to do it. And I only did that because you said it was just a civil violation. Now it sounds like he could go to prison. Nothing's gonna happen to him if he does this. He won't do it. And you're gonna have to make him do it. Me? Yeah, you. You said it yourself. You were the only one who could have convinced him to do this in the first place. Because he trusts me. And I'm not gonna take advantage of that until you tell me that there's nothing else we can do. Because there is, and you know it. What is she talking about? She's talking about going to Sean Cahill to make him bury this thing. And he's gonna wanna help us even less than Stu. If you want me to make Stu take the hit for all of us, the least you can do is give it a shot with Cahill. If you're in here, I take it Cahill said no. He didn't just say no. He said I was lucky he wasn't arresting me, which means Stu is our only hope. Not necessarily. Please, tell me you got him to agree. I did. It was hard and it hurt, but I did. And then he asked me how we could be sure that Nick won't keep holding this over our heads. Easy. We'll make him sign an agreement, which I can go draft right now. If I'm right, Nick won't have to sign anything and Stu won't have to step down. If Stu doesn't step down, Nick goes to the SEC. In case you haven't been paying attention, Cahill said no. Maybe that's because you didn't ask him the right question. What the hell are you talking about? I'm trying to tell you. I have an idea. Looking over your future kingdom. Sorry to disappoint you, but you're not getting the crown. And who the hell are you? You heard from the B team. Well, I'm the A team. The guy you know nothing about. Not my name or where I'm from or what I do. Well, I know who sent you. And Harvey Specter is. Harvey Specter didn't send me, Nick. And neither did Stu Buzzini. Well, that just leaves Teddy Doyle. Whom I've never met in my life. And yet, here I am calling your bluff. And what bluff is that? The one where you think anyone's going to believe you're going to march into Sean Cahill's office and tell him your fairy tale. Because blackmail is a crime, and you don't have the balls for it. I see what this is. I'm not blackmailing anyone, and you can record me all you want. Because it occurs to me that I don't need Stu to step down at all. I just have to do the thing that you say I won't, and I'll have a clear path to the throne anyway. Nick. No, 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 no. You don't call my bluff, I call yours. So tell Harvey or Stu or whoever the f sent you, it didn't work. And get out of my firm. Because make no mistake, come tomorrow, this place is mine. As you can see, I mean, it's clear stock manipulation involving my boss and his law firm, all orchestrated to service a takeover. It does appear that way. Oh, it is that way. And I'm not gonna let Stuart Bazzini put a black mark on my firm. And you chose to do this after hours because if you want a career, you certainly don't want to do this in broad daylight. The thought that occurred to me. So what now? You're going to take these guys down, right? Well, now that all depends. Because as much as I hate crooked traitors, I hate blackmailers even more. What? I'm here because... You're here because I wanted you here. And before you say you don't know anything about blackmail, you do. But so does Sean, because I told him. That's bullshit. Shh, save your breath. You're gonna need to do some thinking. Because I'm gonna tell you the exact same thing that I told Harvey when he came to me. You're lucky I don't arrest you right now. Bullshit, you said that. He did. Whether you believe him or not, I do. I'm a whistleblower, I have protections. Not for blackmailing charges you don't. Because as far as I'm concerned, I think you're both telling the truth, which means you should both be indicted. But since I have discretion, I can go after both or neither, and I'm sure as not just going after Harvey. So the question I have for you, Mr. Whistleblower, is do you want to be prosecuted today or not? I'm sorry to have wasted your time. Nick, one more thing. Stu asked me to let you know that you're fired. On what grounds? You remember all those trades I consulted you on? They were real, and they sucked. But Stu's a generous man. He gave you a healthy severance package. Don't spend it all in one place. Like it or not, Sean, we still make a pretty good team. <laughs>